But underneath this engine, there's oil. When we first purchased the boat, there was no oil. So we have developed a rear main oil leak. So there's the reduction case, gearbox, bell housing, lines and wires and engine mounts. So we're gonna get in here and make our way to that dreaded oil seal. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. All right guys, so I just removed this part. This is pretty much just like a CV joint. Wouldn't surprise me if that's actually what it is. It looks like a car one. So I've disconnected that from the gearbox. There's a thrust bearing down there that's all been uh, replaced. So I've removed the CV joint here. Now I've got to remove the gearbox. So there's the reduction case, gearbox, bell housing, lines and wires and engine mounts. So we're gonna get in here and make our way to that dreaded oil seal. There's no one likes a leaky engine and uh, I don't like oil in my bilge. So I've just on the other side, I've just loosened the starter motor. The starter motor's just over there. I'm halfway through removing that and get back in here and start pulling this apart. And I uh, might even get a little spray job and a tidy up once we've got this gearbox out, depending on the time frame of how long it takes to get this oil seal. It's like a $10 part and a whole day job pulling it apart. Anyway, we'll get into it. You can see down there, the engine mount's really sad. We will do that, all four engine mounts, but for now we'll just get the oil seal done and, and then uh, that can be on the target for next month's uh, hit list. All right, so I've made a little bit of a block up here. I couldn't get one engine mount off, but I got the other one off. This will make it a little more difficult to get out, but I've slid it back. So let's see how we go. I've set myself up a pulley. I've actually, in the cockpit, there's two switches and I've pulled a cable out through there which allows me to get like a block and tackle set up here. I tried lifting the gearbox but it's a bit heavy. It's not, not as strong as I used to be. So I don't want to hurt myself, especially halfway through. There it is down in the hole. I've, I've, I've removed it from the engine. Because I'm going to sit in there. So I'm going to actually remove the gearbox, inspect it and uh, just get it out of the road for now. So hopefully I can lift this up without anything breaking. And uh, happy days. Get you to slowly pull on that in the second bell. Whoa, we're rocking out of control. Holy smokes. It's hard at anchor, but we don't have the luxury of the marina at the moment. But I can see a lot of oil. Uh, hopefully it's not the gear. Well, I'm going to say hopefully it's not the engine leaking, but I'm pretty sure it's the engine. We'll see as soon as I bring this up. We'll see if there's oil around this or the engine. All right, Bill, just real slowly. Real slowly let that down. Okay. All right, so we've got the gearbox out. I just got to verify that it's not the actual gearbox oil leaking out the seal here. I'm 99% sure, but there is, I'll put my light on, very wet, but I don't know if that's just the splash from the actual rear main. We'll have a double check, but I'm, I'm thinking for what it's worth, I may just see if I can get a hold of this seal uh, I think I can remove that without pulling the gearbox apart. I may just try and put a new seal in here just to be safe. It does look good though. I'll probably clean it up and then turn it up on its end a bit and see if any oil drips out of it. I think it's fine. You know what, for what it's worth, it's probably just as easy to clean this all up and slide a new seal in. I think that's what we'll do. So that's it, it's out. We're gonna give her a little clean up. Uh, there is a little bit of, I wouldn't say leaking, but a little bit of wetness around the selector. I know there's an O-ring in here. So while it's out, I'll look at the O-ring here. Look at this rear main seal and get that done. You know what, even it's out, 
I know this one's not leaking, but I just don't know yet whether I'm gonna actually just do both seals while I'm out to save headaches down the road. The engine mount here was getting dripped on. You can see it's badly corroded. That all needs to be cleaned up, repainted. It's reduction, gearbox, bell housing. Just got the flywheel to come off and the bearings behind that. There's um... You still think it's a bearing? I don't know. I can see the seal on this end. It looks all right. I'm just wondering whether we do that seal at the same time so we don't end up with a gearbox leak too. Put it back together and then that leaks. Like ideally that'd be sent away and looked at, serviced, rebuilt or assessed. Mm -hmm. But because all this has to be done again if we get down the road and it fails, that's all. But it is what it is. Oh look, I'm just having a quick look. at It looks a little bit rusty but it is actually a quality dampener plate. So I don't know if you know much about these guys, but this pretty much takes out the harmonic vibration in your drive chain and they're usually spring-loaded. In this case, it's actually a rubber-based one. These are actually a little bit more expensive than the spring-based ones, but especially at low revs, if you hear any sort of metallic -y sort of noises coming from your gearbox, it can generally be the one of these that has all the springs in it. In this case it doesn't, I'm just going to open it up and inspect it because an engine, even though it runs on each piston stroke, it actually has like a vibration and this smoothens out your power chain. But I just know they're a very important part of your engine and for vibration and wear and tear. But I don't really want to replace this because this is actually quite an expensive one. But that was just that bit of looseness there which concerned me. It doesn't really have much that way. And that's pressed on so I'm not going to be able to get that apart. But I can visually inspect this. I can see there's no tears on it. And it doesn't, it just appears to be the littlest bit of movement that way. And I just wasn't sure about that. I don't know, I'll have to ask the experts. The motor's apart, do you get a new one? But these are about 300 and something pounds each one bolt I couldn't get out actually I had to drill that one out that's the remains of it look at that good drill in there be able to re-tap that little fella there are little uh, hex drives and they're just stripped anyway that's what we have I've had these bolts soaking for a couple of days now but I've swung off this with my breaker bar and about three foot of stainless steel rod and I could not crack these. Um, we didn't really have it in the kitty to get my nice DeWalt one, but I jumped on Marketplace and it's not something I use all the time. So I just got a, a Bauer um, corded impact driver and uh, it's a Harbor Freight one. It was 40 bucks and I've spent a day trying to undo these bolts and literally this is like a one second job. We had a smaller impact driver, um, our friends lent us, but it just didn't have anywhere near the power of this one. And uh, for a cheapie, like we only paid 40, but I think they're like a hundred bucks from Harbour Freight, but uh, yeah, it's uh Definitely does the job. Let's get in here and have a go. Spoke too soon. Two to go. Uh, while Lee's getting that last pit out of the engine um, this afternoon, we went shopping. Brian, a lovely Brian, took us to get some provisions with a car, which was very, very nice. Let's find a gold hammer. Anyway, we're coming back from the shopping and I dropped my phone in the water. And if anybody's lost a phone or broken a phone, I can understand the frustration and the disappointment. <laughs> now I don't have a phone. It's really, really annoying. I'm trying to be positive. Maybe I'm supposed to have a different phone. We can't afford to get one right this second, so that's why it's even more annoying. So 
lost my phone today, but Lee has had a win getting this <laughs> flywheel off. How this? Finished. All of like two minutes. Two minutes, that was a... What did you say before? You just need the right tool for the right job. Yeah, we had Brian just at the right time offer to um, take a shopping, and at the same time, I just put an offer in for forty dollars for that. And the guy called me up and said, "Yep." And then Brian said, "Do you guys want to go shopping?" I was like, "Yep, as long as we can uh, just stop by and pick up the impact driver." And here we are, flywheels off. I'm just going to get my little punch and put a little mark on where this is. And um, it's also 11 o'clock at night. He couldn't go to bed. I couldn't. <laughs> I just had to know if this was going to work. It was like I couldn't sleep otherwise. So that was like I've gone through all this effort and it's the last last piece of the puzzle. Are you toes? Yeah. Are you okay? <clears throat> Are you stuck? <sighs> Did you really drop it on your toes? No, I, I, I grabbed it but I couldn't support the weight of it. It's <laughs> heavy. Oh, shivers. Some way in. We've got a standard lip seal. You fucking beauty. So this is just a standard seal. You can see all the oil around it. It's definitely the problem. You ripper. And get that out and uh, get a new seal back on. I've put a mark on here on the flywheel. I've got a hole there anyway, but I just like little reference marks and I can make sure this goes back exactly where I want it. I'm gonna unbolt this, remove the gasket, probably a little bit of oil will come out of just that bit. Inspect this here and make sure where the lip seal sits is not too bad, clean all that up. New lip seal on there and put it back together. And then on my way through, I'll clean the gearbox up, paint the gearbox, put two new seals on the gearbox, front and back of the gearbox and on the selector, even though they're not leaking just because I don't want to do this again. And I don't want to see this is exactly what's on the gearbox front and back. It's just a standard lip seal. And uh, I'll just get it done now and hopefully, hopefully that should be it for a little bit. Come on. Come on. We're doing it for some fun. I want some fun. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys love a few Boatworks movies, but I want to have some fun ones too. Oh, that's so good. I know, this is what it's like when you you want to go to bed, but he doesn't really want you to go to bed till he wants to go to bed, so he puts all the tools on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'm staying up to help you, am I? I'll sleep better now, I know that much. Okay. Oh, I, was, I was nervous that A, the impact drive would be sufficient, because it's only a cheap one. It's a Harbour Freight one, but oh, I had plenty of torque. And then B, I was worried that um, I didn't want to snap any bolts either, because then I know like I couldn't just ignore it if I snapped it because I have to get to that rear main seal. So, and it's in a tight spot, well, tight enough to be pulling out broken bolts, but it all went to plan, so I'm happy. Good job, honey. Do you want to keep going or do you want to go to bed? <laughs> I don't care, I'm going to crawl up in the corner there and go to bed. <laughs> I'm just going to clean up here because it's sort of annoying.